a while back I modeled this uh, alien motion tracker after Jack Perry's uh, model used in the game Alien Isolation and I was asked how I would do this end piece that came up straight because there's a lot of tutorials on how to model the cord and if you're interested in how I did it I'll put a link to that in the description and I really just <laughs> I just pulled a lot of points around and and but I think I found a little bit of a better way and there aren't very many good tutorials on how to do this so I'm just going to add my suggestion on how you could do this and what I've done is I've, I've gone in here and I've um, just selected that last section uh, right there and like I say just go back to my uh, video and see how I how I did this so I've, I've selected that like this okay say so an edge selection shift alt and click there and shift s cursor to select it so bring the 3d cursor right there and then go back into object mode so I've got that let's say I need it to connect to something like this all right this could be a, a jack cord for electric guitar or telephone or some kind of thing like that okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to actually hide that so I'm going to look at the top view and I've got this and I want it to sort of spiral into the middle and come up straight from there I spiral into the middle and go up straight so that I can connect it to that thing wherever oh, I, I hid that okay so from top view what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a plane shift a mesh plane go to edit mode I'm going to scale it down to to there whatever doesn't really matter I'm going to press one to go into vertex selection mode and alt m merge and center so I got one point that's right in the middle there okay first thing I'm going to do is I am going to come out straight just a little bit and then I'm just going to E and G E and G E and G and come into the middle I'm just going to put a few points down like that okay so I have that now I'm going to select the last point here I'm going to turn on proportional editing I'm going to look from the side and I'm just going to bring that up I'm going to increase that so I get this kind of effect I'm just going to pull it up and turn that off I'm going to hit E one more time and I'm going to come up straight I'll come up a little ways like that so I've got this now it's going to take some manipulation but let's uh, let's do this select it all now I'm going to um, smooth this a little bit by adding some more points now this one before I do that I'm going to move this back down a little bit I'm going to select it all control shift B pull like this I'm going to add one more point there and I've got that doesn't look very nice yet I'm going to come to object convert to curve and the curve dialog box and go to bevel depth and I'm going to just start bringing this up and I'm going to make it wider than this okay now to make it look better for the moment I can go um, um, control 2 and shade smooth to add a subdivision surface and now what we do is we come in we look from an orthographic view and we may have to rotate this a little bit push it on okay now I'm going to come in and we look from orthographic view and I'm going to try to make this look like a nice uh, curve so I'm going to grab a point and just sort of start moving them around I might get rid of a point and just spread them out kind of evenly Right. Now we're going to deal with that in a bit. So 
I might take this one up and this one over here and try to get rid of any, those creases. I'm going to press three and look from the other side and then I can just keep going and make it look like an intestine of some sort. Maybe I can get rid of that one. I'm just going to keep, you know, switching from side to side and don't forget control three from the other side. I'll take this one and move it up. And this one, and I'm just evening out the points, the spaces roughly. Okay, let's have a look at this. You don't have to be in an orthographic view every time. Sometimes we just just move around. And it'll just take time to get it to where you want it to be. I won't, I won't do this for too long. Uh, just, you get the idea. idea. Um, you know, and just consider if you need certain points. And if you don't, get rid of them. so far I want to make sure that this one is pretty much straight up okay so we can still do some work on this but let's say I'm relatively happy with that okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back I'm going to get rid of the subdivision surface and come back to the curves and right up at the top under here resolution there okay I'm going to change that to about three because I'm going to convert this to a mesh and I want too many points so I'm going to go object convert to mesh now I can come in and I can in edge selection select that edge and go um, E and S and bring it in select that edge and bevel control B bevel and I'll put maybe one subdivision in there now I can take the whole thing and I can look and see you know if it's you know if it needs to be moved a little bit or rotated or whatever I can get I can do that I'm gonna look from an orthographic view I'm gonna shift alt and click that edge and I'm gonna make sure this is straight so I'm gonna go S to Z zero I'm gonna bring it down a bit and I think at this point, yeah, I'll bring it down a bit more. I'm going to extrude it up. Now it's that part straight up. And I'm going to press 3 to go into face selection. Uh, Shift Alt to click there and go E Alt S. I'm going to come out. I'm going to grab that edge and bevel. And then I'll go Control 2. And then I'll come up here. I'll grab this edge and I'll bevel it. Okay. Alt H to bring my thing back. What's that doing there? Bring this down. Okay, and now I have those two pieces. And I can just, you know, position it so that it fits the way I want it. I can look in wireframe. If I feel I need to move this piece. You know, it's it's not absolutely uh, perfect, but um, 
you know, if you're not looking too big, you know, too close to it. It can hopefully do the job for you. You could spend more time and you could still, you know, you could come in here and, you know, with the subdivision surface on it, you could still uh, select edges and move them around. You could go GG to edge slide. So that's the general idea of, of one way that you could uh, cause this to come to, you know, a bit of a, a straighter end. Uh, might need to be rotated, in, you know, and attached better. And then you might have to straighten that out, but that that could work, something like that. So, hope that helps.